Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, just a little quick one on the old bus, which is falling apart here. I just went to start her, or him, and, and this is happening. I know it's always been slow to start, but... Do, 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 do. And what I have noticed is that braid now is flipping hot. So it might not be the problem with it totally, but that shouldn't be getting hot. So I'm going to make up a new earth cable thingy, ground connection, whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Let's see if we can find some bits. I know I've got loads of old cable and fittings and stuff in the barn, so let's have a look. Um, and I do apologize for the noise. That's actually Chloe standing on her bench. And that's another video you can see. I don't know, it's, you have to check me playlist out, but it's, I've got another video with her bench, so there we go. Let's have a look at this. All right, well, I've got some bits together. I've got some really chunky cable. Um, I don't know where it come from, but I've actually cut a piece off it already and I I don't know where I put it, so I'll find that in a sec. Um, I think that is 50, is it 50 mil? 50 mil, and I found a matching lug to go on it, which is a crimp lug. I found one of these. Um, I'm not a great fan of these with the screws, but what I might try and do is, might try and solder it, solder it on. So I'm crimp, and try and solder that as well. I've got a bit of solder. I've got a crimping tool, which I bought ages and ages ago from eBay. Nice and cheap, so I'll have to find the right one for that to crimp it on. Um, and I've got a little gas soldering iron somewhere that I've borrowed. I'm going to try and solder it all up. So um, let's try and get some bits together and and do stuff. Uh, you know, let's, let's see if we can make a little, a little cable up. I found my cable, so I'm just going to bung that on the end. I'll put a tiny bit of flux in both just to, you know, if I do solder it, I'll need it on there. All right, well, I just shoved that on the end. I'll put a tiny bit of flux in there, but it's a little bit far back, but I think I'll put a bit of heat shrink over it. So I'm going to see if I can crimp her up. I'll just put this in the soft jaws for now. Got my little tool. Oh, you can't see it, but it's got a 50 in there. Let's just whack it on there and crimp her up, I suppose, see what happens. It has crimped. You, oh, you can't see it. Hang on. Is that better? It has crimped it. Not a great deal, but it has crimped. But I'm going to try and solder it anyway. So this is a little gas soldering on a barrel, just heating up. I don't know if it's going to get hot enough, but we shall see. This may take some time. It's a big old um, lug to heat up. Right, got me a little gas torch now. Sorry, it's going to be a bit noisy. Well, I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Alright, there it is. It's a nice bit of solder in there. Just going to put a little bit of heat shrink on that just to tidy it up. Again, sorry for the noise. I don't think that looks half bad, that. 
Right, so just been over to the bus, measured it up. I've got to cut it there. And I've just marked that as a top, so I'm just going to stick that in the vice, cut it off with my hacksaw. Just cut it off, I'll just tidy that up. So all I'm gonna do is cut that much um, insulation off. Just use a, a Stanley knife. And then I might tin it actually and then try and solder it in. We'll see. Just gonna tin it with me torch. Tinning is just when you put a layer of solder on it to make it stick better. <laughs> Right, I've just lined it all up and done up the screws. I'm just going to try and put a bit of solder in this now. There we go, it's all soldered in, lovely jubbly. I have melted the uh, insulation around there a bit, so I'm gonna just trim that back and then put a few layers of um, heat shrink in there just to build it up and then heat shrink over. I'm actually gonna cut these off because I think this is gonna interfere with the lid. It's really, really close to my um, battery cover. So I'm gonna cut them off. It's all soldered, all perfect. So that's not gonna matter. So uh, let's, uh, do this little bit. I'm just going to trim it back and put a bit of heat shrink in there and then cut them off. It's neater. Here's the before and after, well, what we took off, which is quite, it's not real bad, but it is a bit frayed, but then, you know, this is, that should do the job. So let's go and chuck it on a bus. Right, we're in the bus, let's put this beastie on. I've given that a clean up down there, don't know if you can see, and just put a tiny bit of um, petroleum sort of jelly grease on there or whatever, just to stop it corroding. In theory, that should go on quite easy. I haven't got the um, positive up yet because I wanted to make sure this is all the right sort of. Probably can't see this with my hands in the way, can you? I'm doing up a bolt. It's really, really exciting. Better find a socket, wouldn't it? Really, dough. Nice and firm. I'm quite pleased with that. I've just got to do that one up, but I'll take it off, put the um, positive on, and we'll try it. Let's try this again with my new cable on. Let's see if we can hear it. Straight away. That's the first time that's happened in a long time.
Right. Excellent. Thumbs up. And let's compare that to before. Well guys, that's the end of that one. Nice little job. Um, luckily I had all the bits in uh, in the barn or in the workshop. Uh, as you may have seen, if you'd seen my start of a workshop tidy up, I've got loads of stuff everywhere. So I can normally find something to repair stuff. Anyway, well, thanks for watching uh, and hopefully see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget our Instagram account. Uh, Larks underscore workshop. So uh, hit us up on there and um, I'll keep you up to date on stuff going on in these crazy times. Keep safe, stay at home. Cheers then!